Today I'm going to start making a go-kart. Since my grandpa is an engineer, I'm going to make an electric Mario go-kart that you can ride on with an accelerator and a brake. Yesterday we cut all the pieces and made the plans, so I'll show you how we build it. So we're going to make a go-kart that's powered by a power drill, and this is the plan for it. You should always make a plan before you build. It has a plywood chassis, softwood axles, stud axles for wheels, and barrow slash truck wheels. The power drill goes in the back so it can power the rear wheels. The barrow's wheels is the perfect size for the go-kart. So this is what we are going to use. So this is the chassis where it's like where they have the seats and the pedals are going in the front. So this is the front axle, that's the back axle. And to drive it, it's not, um, well, we are not going to use a motor. We are going to use a power drill. So these, um, there are little bumps here that cling onto the wheel and it, it rotates it really fast, but the battery doesn't hold much. And you can adjust the power right here you can push it so um the accelerator is probably going to do that for you so you can do it with your feet with the pedal and these are all the nuts and screws um screws nuts for the um fitting the wheels on and other stuff like pedals well we have some spare wood and another board so we can make the seat and we might use it for the pedals well my grandfather is going to cut these black marks on the sleeve for the axle okay that's the first piece cut well, we're going to file the end so it's not rough Yeah, well, that's how you file it, basically. So we cut four sleeves so they can go on each end of the axle. We just use the tape measure to um, measure the whole thing and divide it by two so we can um, draw a line perfectly in the middle so that this axle can go on perfectly the middle. You've got to be precise when you do this. And today we finished the back axle. We put some screws in here. And tomorrow when the wheels arrive, we're going to make the front axle, and going to make the steering. It's the second day of making the go-kart. And today we are going to make the front axle. And hopefully later on the wheels arrive. These are the components and this is the steering mechanism assembled so that we'll put the wheels there and then it'll pivot. We have made the front axle to go on the front place. So this is how it is right now. Um, so you steer it, yeah, by that. So the wheels can move around. Yeah, basically that's what we make. So we'll make the chair first. We finished the seat. Well, we are just waiting for um, the bond to dry. And we covered it with foam. And then next we're going to make the steering wheel, which we're going to make out of old pipes. And we're going to assemble these together so we can make a steering wheel. And hopefully the bond has dried on the foam when we finish it, finish the steering wheel, and then 
We can do a test one. Yeah, what is this? So this is a material called flux. Flux. So you know, you know you polish the metal. Yeah. To remove the oxidation. Yeah. We then flux the metal mm. to keep it from oxidating again. We also flux inside the copper fittings we're using. And once we've fluxed all the insides and the outside, we can put the joint together. Oh, okay. So the next thing I'm going to show you, kids can't do this. You need an adult to do this because it's very dangerous. You use fire, okay? Kids who are watching this, know this very well. You need an adult, okay? We are right now melting the metal so that it sticks to the joints. So that's going to be the handle. Oh, it's melting. Oh, steam's coming out. So it was really hot and it takes some time to cool it down. So this copper sometimes affects you and makes you sick. So we put tape around it to make sure it's safe. Well, when we assemble it, you'll get the idea of the steering. This is what we pretty much made so far. And then the steering, when you, yes, yeah, so it pivots this, so that's basically steering. So today we're going to focus on the pedals. They're going right here and right here. Accelerator and a brake. Before fitting the pedals, we decided to test the steering. My grandpa pushed me around the garden. Good news, the steering wheel worked really well. So because it's going to move by a power drill, not a motor, um, we need to make a box so it fits. And I'll show you when it's done. We are going to use some hinges and some cables and then we already made a box for the power drill see well um the accelerator is going to power this button basically today is the day fifth it was time for a final inspection before our first powered test drive Both pedals are connected to the cables. Check. The accelerator pedal has a stop to make sure it doesn't travel too far. Check. The steering arms are properly connected. Check. The black tape is covering the copper steering wheel. Check. The foam seat is glued in place. Check. The drill battery is fully charged. Check. The electric drill is connected with the rear tire. Check. This is the accelerator, this is the brake. The brake stops the wheel. Then we are now ready for a test drive. Okay, off we go. The go-kart wasn't very fast, but steered really well. 
Thank you to my grandpa for helping me complete this amazing piece of engineering. If you like this video, please subscribe down below.